Hello. Okay, so for today's video, I wanted to do a boxy charm unboxing because I like to watch those videos. So I, I wanted to do one myself. And so what boxy charm is is you pay twenty dollars a month, and you get a box of stuff sent to you. It's usually like five to six products, and it's really good. Some of the stuff you get is actually really good, high quality products. So you're not throwing away your twenty dollars most months. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read off the products and their original price to you and then I'm going to try it on because it's no fun if you don't see how it works. So this theme is called Rock 2018. This is the card. So the first thing that comes in here is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. It delivers a natural radiant glow while blurring pores and imperfections. And the original price of this is $38. The next thing in here is by It Cosmetics, which is a very popular brand. And it's the Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil. It's in the shade Universal Brown, so it's supposed to work for every hair color. And it's originally $24. Okay, then we have an eyeshadow palette. This is called the Glam Metals Palette by the brand Crown Pro, which isn't high-end, but... This is what the palette looks like. Um, there's only one matte color in here, and it's the black color. So this is going to be interesting to create a look with. I don't know if I said this or not, but it's $25. This was what I was most excited to get, I think. This is by Pure Cosmetics, which they sell at Ulta. And this is the Bronze and Brighten Cheek Palette, and it's super pretty. I opened this already, so I'm not even going to pretend like I'm surprised by any of this. I've opened it. I haven't touched it, though. Look how pretty that is. Though I'm kind of scared to put this all on my face at once because all of them are shimmery. But I'm going to anyways. Oh, and this is $34 if I didn't say yet. And the next thing we have is by Girlactic. And it's the matte lip paint. The price is $23. So it comes in a box. And mine is in the shade Posh. Okay, so now basically I'm going to try out all these products. I'm not trying to create this super pretty artistic look, so don't expect that from this video. Um, it's about the products, and I want to see if they work, and if I like them, and if BoxyCharm's worth the money, basically. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is prime our face with the Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. So, this is like the consistency. It's thick, and it's like a skin tone color. Ooh, I don't know if I like how it feels. It feels really thick. And like sticky. It smells weird. Looking up close, it does have little shimmer on the face, but the foundation I'm gonna put over that, uh, I feel like it's just going to cover that. Don't feel like that did anything. It's a primer though. Maybe it'll make my makeup last longer. I don't know, but honestly, I'm not really that interested in this. Probably give it to my friend or something. Okay, I'm going to quickly put on some foundation. Just for reference, I'm using the MAC Studio Sculpt. Okay, my foundation application is a little cruddy, but uh, I'm not going anywhere after this. So I just kind of wanted to slap something on. But yeah, I don't really notice the primer doing anything, so this isn't a miracle worker. And I don't really see any shimmer peeking through. So, <coughs> yeah. I'm going to move on. So I'm going to use the IT Brow Power now. I've opened all of these and I put them back in the box to make it look like I didn't open these. <laughs> but I opened them. Oh. oh my goodness. Okay, so this is like thick. I like my pencils to be thinner. But what I do like about it is it has a spoolie at the other end. Okay. So this is supposed to look good on everybody. I don't think it will if you're like blonde. It's gliding on pretty smooth. It's giving off pretty good color. I don't like this. It's too fat for me. It's just not the tip I'm used to. So I mean the product itself is fine. It did the job fine. I just, I don't like the tip. It's not what I'm used to. So. It's kind of a personal problem, but this does what it's supposed to do, does what it says it's going to, and it's good. It's just not what I prefer. Okay, so I was going to do 
my eyes first but i'm actually just gonna do the face because i really want to dry it why does this look uneven i don't want you to see my messy room i'm gonna bronze first and like i said what's making me nervous about this is that it's all shimmer but i guess we're just gonna shine so i'm using the bronzer first hmm <gasps> Okay, so that's really pigmented. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. I look like I have mud on my face. I messed up. I mean, on this side, <laughs> it looks pretty. I'm going to blend that a little bit. So if you get this, use a really light hand. The color is really pretty. But you literally just need to like pat it in there because I look crazy. I can fix this. So I tried to fix it and I made it better. But like not really, but whoops. I'm just gonna continue, just let it be. <laughs> um we're gonna use the blush now. Lightly pat it in there. Tap off all the excess. Let's see. Oof. This is a really stunning blush. But I really like that blush. And it really has a beautiful glow to it. Okay, so thumbs up to the blush. Now let's test the highlight. Not gonna go as light-handed. Mmm. -hmm. She looks a little chunky to me. I don't know if you guys can see it from here, but it looks a little chunky on the cheek to me. Yeah, it's not like blending into the skin. It's just kind of sitting on top of the skin. It's pretty and it works, but there definitely are way better highlighters out there. Because this just isn't blending into the skin as much as I would like it to. And this palette's definitely a thumbs up. I really like it. <laughs> just don't go crazy with the bronzer because you'll end up looking muddy and patchy um, but if you use a really light hand it's really nice and all of the shimmers together I don't feel are overbearing I think it looks okay um, this isn't the best trio in the world but it's really pretty and I really like the blush but I've had better but this box is only $20 and we've got hella stuff so continuing onward now we're gonna try this uh, palette which honestly, I don't really like, but I'm going to use it anyways. My eyebrows look terrible right now. I don't even care. I literally don't even care. Okay, so immediately there's no matte brown, which is what I start off with in every look. So, <laughs> um, I don't even know what to do. I'm going to go in with some of Glam Rock, which is this shiny brown color and we're gonna use that like a transition i mean i did normally i just go in with another color from another palette but, you know this isn't like that bad it's not super shimmery once you blend it out but it's a little shimmery and it's gonna bother me i haven't been sitting in the middle has that been bothering you <laughs> i mean okay that worked it blended out okay i'm going to use the black color black metal because it's matte and i want a matte in this look so i'm using a really really light hand and just putting that in my outer corner not a ton of pigmentation to this black which is a good thing in this scenario because i really am scared of blacks but this isn't a very good black shadow in general okay a color in here that i do like is called rock on which is like it's kind of like an olivey brown color so we're just gonna put that all over the lid i'm gonna use my finger because that's the best way to apply shimmer shadows you know i really like this color pigmentation i think it's pretty good they feel pretty creamy which is nice and i don't think the look i've done right now is too shabby there is no matte highlight color or a shimmery highlight color so I'm going to borrow from the uh, face palette, highlight my inner corner and underneath my brows. 
And underneath, let's use some of Wild Thing, which is this shimmery reddish color, just so that I can try out different colors. I don't, I don't really know about this look in particular, but not too, <laughs> the palette itself is not too shabby. I'm not mad at it. So I'm going to put on some liner and lashes and then we can do the lips and then I'll give you the final roundup and my final opinions of this box. Okie dokie, so now we're doing lips. So again, I had the Galactic Matte Lip Paint in the shade Posh. I don't know how well this is going to go with my look. Didn't really think about that. No, oh, it'll be fine. Oh, it's, it's a little on the peach side. But this is a really pretty color. We're just going to wait and see if it dries. But upon application, the pigmentation was really good. It didn't seem very patchy. And it feels really light. Okay, yeah, the uh, lip paint or whatever feels really comfortable on the lips. I really like this. This is the look I did. Uh, it's not my best look. I just kind of wanted to throw the products in my face to see what I thought. I wasn't trying to create this extravagantly gorgeous look, but... So, my opinion on the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. Could take it or leave it. I really don't think it did anything. It didn't really moisturize my skin or do anything. So, I hope... I, I don't know. I don't really care about that. Um, the IT Cosmetics Brow Power is pretty good. I think it'll, this is better for somebody who has thicker brows. I personally like to define every little strand of hair, so I like a smaller tip. So this isn't my cup of tea, but I'm not mad at it. And it has a spoolie at the end, which I'm really into. So, this gets a thumbs up for me. It's just not my favorite. The Pure Bronze and Brighten. Um... It's good. I like it, but it's not my favorite <laughs> face product. You guys saw I had an accident with the bronzer, and I don't really like the way the highlight sits on my skin, but I, it's not bad. Like, I can use this and not hate it. I'm happy it's in the box. The Crown Glam Metals Palette. It's not the best eyeshadow palette I've ever used, but it's a more affordable brand. Um, I don't like that I can't really create a full look with this, but it's only a 9 pan eyeshadow palette, and it's a really good shimmer palette if you're reaching for some shimmers to throw on your lid. I actually really like the shade that I used, and this shade was pretty nice. I'm sure this shade will be beautiful all over the lid. So I like this. I definitely think it was worth having in the box. I'm just being a little overly critical. It's not the best quality, but the box is $20. And then the Galactic Matte Lip Paint. I really, really 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 like this I think. Uh, this month I would say the box was definitely worth $20. I'm not mad at it at all. It's not my favorite box that I've ever received from BoxyCharm but it's not bad so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I actually just really like watching these so I made my own but uh yeah if you have any requests just let me know because I don't know what else to film. Alright bye.